Hello everyone, I'm the Crimson DM, and welcome back to Crimson Plays. In today's episode, I would like to continue playing Under Rail. And if I can... Ah, oh, crap. Well, I almost had it. I just didn't at the end. I got caught. So I need... How do I... Hold up. Stop. Bad camera. Okay. The ca... Ow, my back is in pain. The camera is treating me like crap. But ma'am, the camera's a butt. Don't break their bones! Jeez, okay. Sometimes the game does have the, uh... Does have the problem of being an old CRPG-styled game. And that is a slight problem, but not usually a big one. So... And I'm gonna catch ya! Yeah! Aww, uh, yeah. Wait, did I miss? I done did miss, son. Crap. Well, that sucks. But I can try again and, uh, dense this guy that I assume is broken. The mouse does not like to move the camera at all. Alright, I'm just putting it out there. The mouse does not like to... Jeez! Well, I guess I'll get that again. How many of these do I gotta get? Three. Okay. Jeez. I mean, my back's already hurting. Everything else is already in the way. I mean, this is not fun. Okay. Let's see what I can do. So, I'm going to move through here stealthed, and hopefully, I didn't scare all of them away, but it looks like I might have. I might have to come back. Or just wait. I mean, I'm sure they'll come back. Oh. Okay. Why? Why can't I pause the game outside of combat? Okay, I'm starting to have problems with the game. And problems with my entire seating area. But, yeah, I'm starting to have problems with the game. This is not fair. I, I'm not even gonna walk, because... The game is a little bit weird. I can't seem to pause it unless I'm in a combat scenario. And if I misclick on throwing something, the game goes nuts. Okay, maybe it's too early in the morning for me to be dealing with this level of frustration and this level of meticulousness, but. Come on! Like, just because I misclicked does not mean that it should, like, unequip my frickin' net. Is my net not equipped anymore? And now my television's making noise, but... Seriously, let my net stay equipped. I picked them back up, my dude. Oh, Lord. Okay. 
Okay, I'll get back to you when I catch the third one, because apparently this is gonna be a nightmare. Aha! I got him! Okay. Now... I can... Click on that. Why is this not at all intuitive? Like, I mean, not even a little. I have no idea. Oh well. Now that that combat's over, I can start walking through here, and... I'll stealth anyways, because I want to go through as fast as I can. Also, I'm gonna save. But, seriously, like... Come on, my dude. It doesn't need to be this complicated. It was interesting, though. Interesting and a little fun, just more complicated than I think it needed to be. Now I need to find Newton, right? Yeah, Newton. I'm sure he'll be around here somewhere, probably surrounded by Psy Beetles, because that's my luck. Is that what they called a Psy Beetle? Because I'm pretty sure that was a friggin' ant. Yeah... I'm going to go this way. I'll check that out in a minute. <laughs> you know, after I check out the other area, because I don't want to piss off a giant ant. I mean, what am I going to do, punch it to death? That's how I dealt with all the rats, but I have a f sincere feeling that that's not going to continue working for long. Speaking of which, why can't I not get a melee weapon? Is that Newton? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it is. Well, it's kind of nice to just watch the cave hoppers moving about all natural-like. Okay. Mordry. The middle-aged man, tall and wide shoulder, stands, at, stands by the coast, smoking a cigar and observing the calm water. As you come near, he turns around. He eyes you for a moment, maintaining an indifferent expression. And then he speaks to you in a low, raspy voice. Don't stop. Don't stomp around. You're scaring the fish away. You're the... No, wait. You're the guy that was running Tanner's test, right? Crimson, was it? I guess you got admitted. Yeah, and who are you? The indifferent expression persists. I'd tell you that, but then I'd have to kill you. Just call me Mordor. Um, I could intimidate, and my intimidate is rather high. Uh, I don't want to reload. Oh well. No, you wouldn't. Okay. Uh, what is this place? It's called Mushroom Cove. But it's basically a big lake where all these little streams converge and form into the, the Celeritis River. It then runs all the way down to the very bottom of the deep caverns. Uh, how's the fishing going? Could be better. I was hoping to catch some deep eels, but I forgot to bring meat. And eels don't care much for worms. Oh, use those only if you want to drown them. Tell me about deep eels. There are many kinds of deep eels. Most are delicious and very easy to cook and eat. The blue eel is everyone's favorite, including me. The further you go down the Celeritis River, however, the more dangerous eels you find. It's the very nature of this world of ours. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it becomes. That's a very nice cigar you have there. Where, uh, thanks. Where did you get them? It must have cost a lot. I have my ways. And the cost, it's not as much as you'd think. He draws a smoke and his expression improves. I enjoy smoking here. No one to complain, no one to ask for a cigar. I could ask for a cigar, but, you know, that sounds like a bad idea. I suppose so. He draws another smoke. Why does he have two fishing rods? I guess that's all I could ask. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and leave you be, Mr. Mordry. I am probably mispronouncing that name all over the place. 
It seems like the developers of this game use a couple of names that I'm just not familiar with. I swear I saw some French names in there, if, and, like, I don't know how to pronounce those. Mostly because they're spelled a little different than we'd spell them here in the States. Like, there's a character named Pascal, but it's spelled strangely. I like that, though. I just, I had to look up how to pronounce it, because I was going to go nuts trying to pronounce it. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm currently looking for Newton, who's getting ready for a bootin', because he's gone completely missing, and I can't think of anything else that rhymes with that. Maybe it's way too early to be making a video. I, I woke up like an hour ago, and I haven't all the way woken up yet. Okay, useless to me. Uh, can I collect lake mushrooms? Dude, I can collect lake mushrooms. That's actually really cool to know. I could probably wipe them out, but I wouldn't want to do that. I have a feeling they do regrow, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Oh, jeez. Punch the ant in the face! <laughs> oh, crap. Uh... Yeah, no, fudge this. This is not okay. I don't have the ammo to fight that, so I'm just not going to fight it. How's that sound? That... That is a Psy Beetle. They called it an Azure or whatever. Right? That guy is... That guy is getting awfully close. I'm gonna have to run out of the map to avoid him. That was my bad. Okay, so it looks like whatever direction I choose to go for exploration, I'm going to encounter side beetles. And, uh... I might have to get into a fight with one. I don't want to have to get into a fight with one. But, I might not have a choice. Well, I think I'm on the last of my ammo for my 44, so if I, uh, if I get into trouble fighting one of those things, I'll just be in trouble. Seriously, why can't I have a friggin' knife? Who said that I couldn't have a knife? Oh, crap. Oh, well, I'm probably gonna die if I don't, uh, get out of here. Oh. I have a feeling from that blood puddle that, uh, why can't I move over there? I'm dead. Again, why couldn't I have a melee weapon? Like, what if I had picked a melee build? Would I just be, like, told I don't get any melee weapons to kill things with? Am I honestly expected to go around punching things, or did I seriously miss something? I can't imagine that I'm not supposed to have any sort of melee weapon. That would be absurd. Maybe I was supposed to talk to more people and find out a mini-quest or something to get a broom, and then I get swing a broom at people. Who knows? I'll find out again later when I go back, I guess. I have a feeling that this poor Newton fellow is just dead, and that there's not a whole awful lot I can do about it. Oh crap! I'm hiding behind a rock! Stop looking at me! Seriously, what's wrong with this ant? It's almost like he wants me to kill him. And probably fail doing so, because I need to... Reload! So, if I can possibly sneak around... 
it might be possible to not get caught. Ah, fudge. You know what? Fudge it. Fine. That guy want to be annoying? I'm going to shoot him in his face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. So, the problem is, you can't fight those things. I get it. I see how that works. So I don't want to accidentally touch one of those guys. But I also... Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Just get far enough up here. Did the stealth run out? Oh, no, that's not a good sign. Uh, new save. Come on, stealth got to come back. I have got to have that stealth back. Also, I hate how it stops being a game when I save. I didn't used to have that problem. Junk piles, blood, a door. I need to enter the building, apparently. Oh, there's more blood here. You know, I have a feeling this kid's dead and not worth my time, but apparently I'm still going for it. I don't know, maybe there'll be an actual weapon here. What's this switch do? Hey, stuck! Okay, well, let's see if there's any good loot. Warehouse inventory list. Ooh. Partially readable, but probably very outdated. Inventory list. So, I can get this and get more experience points. Um, electronic scraps. A laser emitter. Cool. I don't have any energy weapons, but that's cool. Steel plates and serrated steel blade. Okay, so I found one thing that might be worth a little bit of my time. I found some experience points, which is good because I need to level up. I need to level up and presumably just max out my ability to beat things in the face. Stat. Kick their teeth in and all that. Kick their teeth in and whatnot. Let's follow the blood and find out how Newton died. I mean, oh crap. I think I know how he died. He probably pissed off a bunch of those guys, went running and screaming like a little girl, you know, I, I'd never do that. I most certainly did not do that, you know, like, ten minutes ago. Um. Crap. Don't get seen. Don't get sung. Don't let them hear your song. Let them be completely a nerd. This is taking forever. What's this mean? It's not like I can level up yet. See? I don't even know what my experience points are. For some reason. Okay, so... Just get me over here. There's a barrel. With... Toxic sludge. Lovely. You know, it's every girl's holiday dream to get a barrel of toxic sludge, right? Oh, no, 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 okay. This is a lot more pressing than I thought it would be. Crap. Uh, to make this episode work, I might have to cut some of my useless wandering around down. But I want to find Newton's corpse before I'm done with this. Okay. Let's go back and see. So there's an an Azuridi. 
Okay. I don't exist. That's not the direction I need. More empty bullet cases. Lovely. It's not like I could shoot any of these guys down if I needed to anyways. An old diver's helmet. Old and rusty diver's helmet. Doesn't look fit for purpose anymore. And I leveled up. Oh, thank the heavens. And a scope. Cool. Not at all useful to me yet. But... We'll see. Alright, um, I'm going to see about picking this thing. Uh, I need my lock pick, so yes, so yes, I do. I got one? Wait a minute, I could have sworn I bought more. Inefficient skill. I probably am going to break my lock pick. 